Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ryan the Lion Video Games with me Ryan the Lion and today we are counting down from 10 to 1 my top PS4 games of 2015. Now these are consisting only on the PlayStation 4, truly to the fact because I don't have an Xbox One and or a PC. So this is the top 10 games of 2015 and I hope you can enjoy them. That's right, The Dark Knight returned in Batman Arkham Knight, the final installment from Rocksteady Games. Now, personally, people might wonder, why is number 6? Why is Batman Arkham Knight at number 6? Let me tell you straight away, I have no qualms with the game itself. The game is fantastic. The gameplay is great. The graphics are absolutely gorgeous, it's up there with one of the best looking games on the PlayStation 4 today. Um, there is nothing, nothing wrong with the game. I felt the gameplay was great, the storyline was just as good, the action was just as good. The only thing that got me with Arkham Knight, the Batmobile. Now, I, now don't get me wrong, don't jump on my back, not yet, just hear me out, okay? The Batmobile was great, it was a great tool that they installed, like they, they put into this game. I really did like the idea of the, Batma, uh, the Batmobile going around Gotham City and being able to implement that in a game of this size. I mean, it's not huge, but it is quite big and obviously bigger than Arkham Knight. But I just felt like they involved the Batmobile just a little bit too much. I felt like they put the Batmobile and they kind of forced it upon you to use the Batmobile. Now, it wasn't like that at the start of the game. The start of the game was relatively okay. It didn't seem like it was too much, you know, it didn't seem that they were just putting the Batmobile on you a lot and it was fun as hell to use, you know, to begin with, playing it for the first few hours. You know, it was really, really fun getting used to it and the, you know, it's just awesome. and. You know, be able to be Batman in the Batmobile, being able to shoot out at you know, you're going 100 miles an hour and you're going along the streets of Gotham and be able to shoot directly out of it and then just start gliding so seamlessly into the air was great and it was, they implemented it really, really well into the game but I just felt like they used it too much and I think it over, you know, the past Rocksteady games or the Arkham series games They've always been proud of the fact that you are Batman. You can be the Batman. I felt like in this one, you could be the Batmobile. I felt like the Batmobile overshadowed everything in the game and I just felt like they they just forced it upon you to use it just too many times. And there's even specific story missions, main quest story missions, that you need to use the Batmobile. There's maybe about five or six. And personally, I just felt like they just used it a little bit too much, whereas I wouldn't have changed much from Arkham City. I felt like Arkham City was my favourite Arkham game from the trilogy, and let's just not speak about Arkham Origins for a start. Um, <laughs> I just felt like Arkham City was, you know, pretty much it. It was one of the best games. I felt like there was nothing wrong with it, the gameplay was great, the storyline was amazing, and I felt like they should have just done that with this one. Yes, the Batmobile was excellent to go around on, it was great fun, but I would have just preferred to use it just as a transport vehicle, as a transport vehicle and occasionally using it in side missions. Now, so, if they made specific Batmobile missions where it was just a, a you know, side content all on its own, I would have been happy with that. I think that would have done justice to it and you would have been just fine using that. Whereas with this, I felt like they just used it too many times that it overshadowed all the characters, it overshadowed the story to a certain degree. And I just felt like it was just lacking, you know, it was just too much. But everything else about the game was great. The graphics are beautiful. The story is just again great you know rocksteady is fan service big time you know rocksteady have done a great great job with these arkham games from arkham asylum which was fantastic arkham city was fantastic and again arkham knight was fantastic but that's why it's so low on my countdown this potentially might have been number two or one on my countdown if it just wasn't for that batmobile 
forcing it upon you to use that Batmobile. I just felt like they lost their way a little bit with that. Of course the Batmobile is a big thing in the, the lore, the universe of Batman, of DC Comics, but personally when it comes to the Arkham games, I felt like they didn't need anything added. I, I honestly didn't feel as though they needed anything more to their story, like uh, to their game, because Arkham City was fantastic, so you know, I don't think they had to add anything to it, but I like the fact that they took risks. I did like the fact that they took risks and they added something new to it. You know, they wanted to create a new kind of storyline, they wanted to create um, something new for the player and especially the, you know, the Batman superfan and I love Batman. Batman is my favourite comic book hero, he always has been. I've had major childhood memories from uh, watching Batman on TV, to reading the comics, to playing the video games, to playing with the action figures and stuff. So I am a mega, mega Batman fan. So when it came to, you know, the Arkham series coming out, I was really, really happy that Arkham, as I say, all Arkham games have been fantastic. Arkham Origins wasn't great, but it was okay. But I believe that Arkham City is the best of the trilogy. That's just my personal view, you might disagree with that, let me know in the comments below if you do disagree with that and let me know what your favourite Arkham game is. Well personally for me, Arkham City was my favourite. Arkham Knight is a great game as I say, the the graphics are absolutely beautiful, they're stunning, really really good from the rain dripping down on his, uh, on his cowl to you know, being in the Batmobile and driving at 100 miles an hour and being able to seamlessly just glide into the air so easily and personally I just, as I say, I felt like they just used it a bit too much. But all in all it was a great game, great storyline, great graphics, great gameplay, all your gadgets are there, some new ones here and there as well and obviously some new villains as well to go with and the content for this game has been superb. The only thing that's been a downfall for it is the DLC as well. A lot of people were paying £40 for a DLC and, you know, the DLC's been terrible. I've got to say, the, you know, the, the rock steady of just, that's one thing they've not got right as well, is the DLC. All the DLC's been terrible for Arkham City and Ar uh, Arkham Knight, so, unfortunately that's just the way it is. Um, but. That's why it's number 6 on my countdown, it's still a great game, as I say, I would suggest anybody to buy it, especially if you're a Batman fan, or if you're just a comic book fan, you know, and you, you love the lore of the DC comics, or the Marvel comics, just play these games, like this game is a superb game, so don't let it put me off, just because I've given it a few bad points, don't let it put you off, because it is a superb game. So. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching. If you've agreed with this and you've enjoyed the video then please hit that all important like button. It really does help guys. It is so important to me to let you to let me know that you guys are enjoying the content that's going on my channel. But for all the gaming updates on Arkham Knight and all the gaming updates on Ryan the Lion video games, then please subscribe today. Thank you so much once again for watching guys. And I will see you at number five.